Welcome to United Field Services. We're eager to have you join our team. From here, I'll guide you along the entire sign-up process and help you set up your account. It's a smooth ride from here on out. No seatbelts are necessary. Now, the first step for you is to visit us at ms.unitedffs.com. You will initially see your dashboard with four main sections highlighted in blue. Licensing and services, company information, coverage area, and documents. You'll need to complete these four easy steps to complete your application. Be sure to let the team know all your trades, along with any licenses you might have. Don't skip this step, otherwise the team will have no idea what you're capable of. Licensing and Services page On the Licensing and Services page, select the general service you provide, followed by the specific services. Go through the list and checkmark all of the services you provide. It might seem tedious now, but don't worry. This will help us get the right orders to you. You don't want to be a plumber who ends up with a roof repair. Next, give a brief description of your experience in the field. Include your number of years of experience. Specify clients you work with. List the number of crews you have. Note any systems you've used for completing work, such as PPW, Proven, Vendor Cafe, etc. And click Save. Company and Additional Information page Welcome to the Company and Additional Information page. It's important to keep contact info up to date so you don't miss out on work. First, fill in your company information. Note, if you're working as a sole proprietorship and do not have a DBA, you can put your first and last name. Aspen Grove is a third-party background check provider we use. If you do not have an account with them, you can skip this step for now. You're doing great, almost done. Just a few more steps. Then, put your primary business address in the business address section. Under the insurance section, select the policies you currently have followed by inputting the policy limits. Moving to diversity classification, please check mark all that applies. Then go on to choose your preferred payment method. Select how you would like to be paid. Please note that we have a transaction fee of 2.5% at a max amount of $25 for all direct deposit transactions. In the reference section, please add three professional references. Under the legal proceedings section, go through and answer yes or no on all the questions. Then, moving to the contact section, add the contact information and roles of all individuals that will directly work with United Field Services. The last section is the company ownership. Add the name and contact information of all partners and the percentage owned. This concludes your company information page. Click Save. You can always go back to edit or add additional information. Again, please be sure to always keep your contact information updated so a member of our team can always reach you when the opportunity comes up. Coverage Area On the Coverage Area page, you'll be asked to provide a list of zip codes you cover. Select the state, county, and then city. Select the zip codes and move them to the right to add your coverage area. If you're an enterprise vendor that covers more than one state, select Yes on the question at the bottom of the page. If not, select No. You can always come back and edit this page to keep your coverage areas up to date. This will be used when assigning work to see if you cover a particular area. Click Save and go on to the next section. Documents Now, moving on to the Documents page. There are several documents we need signed and uploaded to ensure compliance. All documents requiring a signature can be e-signed or signed by hand and uploaded. Some of the personal documents you'll need to upload include your driver's license, business and professional license, and insurance. Upload a copy of your driver's license and input the expiration date and license number. Click Upload to save. Your insurance information must be provided on an Accord form and have United Field Services Incorporated listed as the additional insured and certificate holder. Upload it to your profile and input the policy number and expiration date. Click Upload to save it. Upload a copy of your auto insurance and input the policy number and expiration date. Fill out the W-9 electronically or upload a copy from your device. Select your organization type and include either your social security number or EIN.
read through our independent contractor agreement and either sign it electronically or upload a signed copy. Then, read through the United FS Field Manual and sign to confirm you've read and understood all of the guidelines. You can always refer back to this for information on completing different types of work and photo requirements. Electronically sign or upload a signed copy of the Workers' Compensation Exemption and Waiver Form. You'll receive email notifications for documents that are nearing expiration. Be sure to log in and upload an updated copy of any document that is nearing expiration or is already expired to remain compliant and eligible to receive work. The next step is for a vendor manager to review your application. Each section will be highlighted green when approved by a vendor manager. Please note that they may require you to log in and update a section if necessary. The vendor manager reviewing your application may request changes to your profile. You'll receive a notification, and the section will be marked red under Pending Vendor Revision. Click on the notification or the section colored red, and you'll be taken to the page needing correction. Look for the alert icons, click on it, and view what is being requested. You may be asked for additional info or for an updated document. If it is a document being requested, go to the section with the alert icon and select the new document, then click Upload. If you have multiple notifications on the page, follow the same steps. Be sure to read all the comments carefully to ensure a quicker profile approval. Click on the next notification and you'll be taken to the page. Look for any additional alert icons. Make sure to go back and complete any that are missing. Add the updated information and click Save. Once all sections are colored yellow under Ready for Review, your vendor manager will review and approve your updated information. And remember, you can always go back to edit your profile picture. You can include a personal photo or a company logo. Simply click on your name on the top right and select View Profile. You can also update your profile password from here. Thank you. For any further information or to reach one of our reps, you can find the contact information on the main page of this website.